Okay. Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and uh, hopefully the camera's set up right. So, we're having some more problems with the IMA. I'm wondering why I've got a hybrid, but anyway, let's, let's see what we can do to fix it. So, we started up, and what's happening is that, uh, let's get this camera over here. So, the IMA has been de completely depleted, the IMA light is on, and if I let it run for a while, it's the battery light has been coming on and the brake light, of course the brake light's on right now, but anyway, so I could be running it around, and uh, there we go, see it's hard to start, and that battery light will come on and stay on because it's not charging properly, and of course, I'll get out my voltmeter, is when it's charging, you take your voltmeter and you measure the battery voltage. I can measure it through here. Um, it should be about 13, over 13 volts when it's uh, charging properly, and when it's not, it goes down to 12 something or lower, God forbid. And uh, so, anyway, it's starting to really act up. I uh, put my computer on here, and uh, we're getting the error codes P. 1447 and 1449 problem with the IMA. Okay, so we got our computer hooked up to the car and uh, we're getting some kind of new IMA fault and uh, this is our computer scanner. So it looks like it's, well they're not going to tell me what the fault codes are, but it looks like it's a P1447 and P1449. And uh, according to uh, Honda Insight uh, website, if we dis disable the BMC, BMC, is it? Then uh, maybe uh, it will still charge. Oh, here we go. See, we have the b battery charging light on and uh, brake light on. And you know there's trouble. Okay, let's check the voltage. Okay, so we're testing the voltage in there, and it is looking like about 11.8 volts. That's really not good. 11.8 volts. It is not charging. So if sometimes I restart it, it will start charging again, but let's try disabling the BMC and see if that uh, fixes our problem. Okay, so anyway, here's the back of the car. And... Uh, I kind of left this stuff undone because I thought I might have to work on this uh, problem again. So before you get into this, I show my other videos how to take this stuff apart, but you want to make sure to turn off the high voltage. Okay. Because that will kill you. And, uh,. We have this stuff all set up here. Let's, let's uh, take it apart. Okay, so let's just take some of this stuff out of here. Oh, gosh. And uh, I think I, I showed some of the other videos that I made how to undo some of those bolts and stuff. Okay. And let's see if we can find that device. It has two plugs on it. The BMC. I'm gonna guess it's this unit right here. That one has two plugs on it. Okay. Okay, so, so uh, let's just check the voltage. Let's see what kind of voltage is coming out of this guy. Make sure we're not going to kill ourselves. Okay, so let's put this guy on here. Let's take a little bit closer look here. So, these are the high voltage output here. And it looks like, since we've turned off the circuit breaker here, 
Now uh, we're down to about 3.5 volts, so it should be safe to work around this thing. Reasonably safe. Okay, we've come around from the cockpit side, and uh, this thing has four plugs on it. This guy only has two, so I assume this is the correct one. So let's unplug it and uh, see if the DMC is disabled and the engine starts charging properly again. Or the generator starts charging properly. Okay, anyway, uh, I gotta put the camera down to unplug these things. So if you reach down underneath, there is a little release thing you have to press up on. I find if you twist a little bit with the screwdriver, it uh, helps these plugs come out. You know, you don't want to force it unless you've done the release at the bottom. But, okay, so here's our two plugs. And, uh, okay, so we're testing again through the uh, uh, plug over there, and it looks like we're getting about 11.91 volts. Look at that. Now let's try starting up the car. And see if our battery is going to charge. Now that we've disconnected that thing in the back. Okay, so it looks like our voltage is 12.47, so it's actually higher, so it must be charging, and uh, we, uh, and uh, the battery light is now off again, so it's not giving us any indication that there's a problem with the ch charging of the battery, and so let's let it run for a little while and uh, see if we charge up. Okay, so our battery is at 12.6, and if we step on the accelerator, definitely goes up to 13, so it's definitely charging now. So, uh, it must have not been charging for a while, so the battery's low. So we'll just let this charge, and anyway, it looks like we fixed the problem. This is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.